One two again, Cordell. Let's make a date. This is for all four contestants, but it's going to feature Brad Sherwood as a contestant on a sort of dating game, uh, or television game, and he's got to pick from the three others who he'd like to go out on a date with. But they're not just going to be playing themselves. Each of them has been given a strange character. And uh, the idea here, Brad, is you have to work out, A, who is the best person to date with, which should be hard, and B, uh, what character they have, which uh, might be a little bit easier. I don't know. Anyway, where you go. Um, contestant number one, how would you show me a good time on a date? Well, first of all, you'd have to find me. <laughs> see, I'm down here. Oh. Down here. All right. Uh, contestant number two, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a date? Well, we went out for this lovely ten-course dinner. <laughs> Starting off with some uh, snail. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then... Uh... I'll come back to you, contestant number two. Contestant number three. Yes. How would you woo me? Well, I'd probably take you out for a drive in my new Volvo. I mean, Volvo. <laughs> Cheeky. Uh, contestant number one. I need some guy who won't treat me wrong. Well, all you'd have to do is kiss me Blarney Stone and everything would be all right. Okay. That's what we call it where I come from. Strange, but sounds pretty lucky. <laughs> number two. Yes. How would you dazzle me on a wild European tour? Well... <laughs> no, no. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> that's good luck. That's good luck. And that's crappy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Tested number three. Yes. What's the secret about yourself that nobody knows? Well, uh... I used to be a woman. <laughs> Really? <laughs> what is it? Oh. Okay, Brad, have you got any idea who these are? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, he is a leprechaun. Oh, well done. Yes, well done. That's all. Yes. Yes. I believe Colin has some sort of food poisoning, botulism. Yeah, that's okay. He's becoming increasing here. Oh. A bit too medical there, but I think you've got the all gist right. of it. Yes. And Ryan is a part stand-up comic, part gynecologist. <laughs> That's fairly close. He's, uh, kind of hates people not finding him hilarious, so ah. playing himself, really. Oh. So anyway, well done. <laughs> well done. That's, um, that's a reasonable... Um, I, need hardly, I need hardly say that Colin's going to lead then, because uh, he hasn't. So 